Hey guys, it's Milo, and we're back with another Tool Tip Tuesday for STEMGK. Today we're going to be talking about radius gauges. Now, this is different than a lot of other measuring tools that you may have heard of before. Calipers, which we've talked about on this channel. Uh, rulers, uh, which are used to measure straight line distances, just like calipers. And then we have protractors, which we can use to measure angles. But it's not often that we have something that we can use to measure curves. Say you're designing something or copying a design. You, you want to be able to visualize that curve or even measure it and match it without having to 3D print a whole prototype and wasting a bunch of filament if it's wrong. So that's what radius gauges are for. I believe you can buy these, but I do recommend that you 3D print them just because it's a lot cheaper and the accuracy loss that you have from 3D printing is not enough to really make a difference for most applications. So how do these work? We have a bunch of different sizes of gauges ranging from one to 30 millimeter radii. So if we want to measure, let's say this headphone case, how would we measure that? Well, clearly that's too big of a radius. So we need something maybe more like this. So we can see it's about 10 millimeters on the outside like that. But then if we wanted to match and make sure we could use a different gauge. See that 13 millimeters looks about right for that radius. So now if we wanted to measure inside corner. Just to give you another example here, we could use another gauge to try to find that inside curve. Okay, looks like eight is not quite the right one. Six millimeters is about where we want to be for this one. So then you can copy this design onto your CAD program or just paper sketch, just write it down. Whatever you need to do with it, radius gauges are there for you. Thank you.